guys. So today I'm making this video out of a request. Somebody requested that I should do a complete, like, updated everything I own as an equestrian video. So if you've not seen the old one, I will link it right above me. And yeah, so I have a lot of stuff. Not near as much stuff as some people I know because I only keep stuff that I'm going to use or use or could use. So um, if I don't use something or I have no reason to own it, I will sell it, donate it. I don't buy things I don't need. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, I apologize if I have to switch to my phone and the quality gets lower. My camera apparently has a dead battery, but we're gonna start anyway. So we'll just start right when you walk into the barn here. So up here, we've got fly spray shampoo, um, scrubby brushes for the water. I have some butte just in case I need that somewhere. My pitchforks and pooper scooper. Um, I got a Tony and halters. Gosh, I've got two nylon halters. I got a smaller one and then this brown one's a bit bigger. This one is completely tightened when I put it on soccer and soccer's got a pretty big noggin. So yeah, got those. Got rope halters back here. Got some old reins. Um, over here, I've just got some really long rope that I use to tie out the horses in the yard. Lunge line, fly mask, um, just some random stuff hung there. Got another lunge line over here. I got these hooks over here where I just hang some random stuff. Um, if I'm not using this stuff, this is where I'll hang it. Um, got an extra girth in case I have a horse that I'm training and need to take a girth over there. I don't want to take one of mine that I'm using. Bright pink brass collar. At one point in time, I wanted to get all bright pink stuff for Sugar because I was going to do like speed events with her until, you know, that didn't happen and Sugar is slow as hell. So I've got a neck rope that I never even used. I just have this. I don't know. Um, a leather brass collar. Got my little tack bag here. Eh, come on. Really? Okay, what the fuck? I totally just broke this. <laughs> the freaking zipper won't work. God. Anyways, in here I have a show halter with the lead, even though I don't show, you know, in case I ever wanted to go to one, I've got a halter. Um, I've got an extra bridle in here with an extra hackamore attached to it that I hardly ever use because it's a really long shank. And then I have this bit that I only use for training purposes if I have a job and they want me to train their horse in a bit, which has this English reins attached to it. And then I've got these nice fancy long, long trail reins with horse hair attached to them. And that's what I got in there. I think I have maybe some stuff in the bottom here. I got some extra barrel reins that I'll probably take to the barn to work with Chloe because I need some reins for her. Um, got this big old thing of treats here. This tub I reuse. So these are not peppermint flavored. They're like carrot flavored or something. But I reuse this container because the mice can't chew in it. Grain. Um, we got some stuff in here. I've got a little first aid kit. This is a super basic first aid kit just in case anyone falls off or something. Detangler, sweat scrapers, carabiners, hoof stuff. We've got hoof trimming stuff, brush treatment, oil, more fly spray. Got all my buckets over here. Um, so we've got more fly masks. I mean, I'm not the most organized person. I'd say I'm decently organized, but I know where everything is. So got my saddle racks over here. I only have two even though I need like five in here but we took some down last year because when we stack the hay in here there's not enough room but anyways saddle racks this is my just a western saddle. Um, This one is my heaviest one. This saddle weighs a lot. It's probably like 40 pounds 35 40 pounds. It's got some nice you know jewels over here. Um it's got my endurance stirrups on it, which twist themselves so you don't have to twist your knees. Um, 
and yeah this one has a back cinch on it this is my only saddle with a back cinch and my airflex girth got this blue weaver pad really nice pad pretty thick pretty you know it's just thick in general like it doesn't squish down a lot and then it's thinned out over here got this this is my billy cook saddle pad it's just a red pad like this I bought this used but it's still in really nice shape it's really thick um, pretty heavy and then I have my professional choice saddle pad which I really like always use this one nice and thick and sturdy and it's got memory foam underneath of it and then this is my dad's saddle and my boyfriend uses it also um, this is just a 16 inch black western saddle I'm not sure of the maker or who the maker is but um, yeah, it's a good overall good saddle. It's got another leather breast collar on it and Yeah, so got my grooming stuff here. This is my grooming box or tote or whatever you want to call it um, Mounting block stool thing My black synthetic saddle which a lot of you guys see me use most of the time when I ride I like this saddle a lot just because it's so lightweight this saddle literally weighs probably 10 pounds like it's so light I got another airflex girth um just a black nylon breast collar yeah good saddle it's held up really well um yeah it works great I like it and then we have this saddle um another western saddle that um this one's also a 16 inch oh that one and that one are both 15s but this is another 16 inch one that I bought in case my dad and my boyfriend ever want to ride with me if we all ride together. Um, you know, they're bigger than me. So this one's got um, saddlebags attached to the saddle. And yeah, this is a Western saddlery saddle. It's got, I just have this neoprene black girth on there. And yeah, good overall saddle. Works fine. And then my bridles are hung up over here, usually in a jumbled mess. Let's see, I've got two of them tangled together here. So I got this Hackamore, which I typically use on BB. It's my little S Hackamore. You guys know I like these. And yeah, I just got some pink reins on there. This is Sugar's bridle. If I ride her in a bridle, usually I'll just ride her in her hull. Indian Bozelle on here. Um, and then back here is Soccer's bridle just has some barrel reins on it and this hackamore pretty typical and then I have this which I don't really use this but just in case I need an extra for some reason I've got this beetle hackamore with this head stall on it so thought about selling this if anybody wants it give me a price probably like $20 I bought it for $30 used it once <laughs> And yeah, so those are my bridles that are now a jumbled mess on the floor. So next I have this box in my barn. I call it my tack box, but it's not really like an actual tack box. I just got this thing at Walmart. And it works great if you don't board like me and just have your stuff out in the barn. It keeps everything really clean and whatnot. So I've got a bareback pad. Doesn't have any stirrups, but we just I just use this if like my boyfriend wants to ride bareback or something. Got my trail bags, which I pretty much use all the time. I use these for parades also to put candy in. And we've got two sets of horn bags, which pretty basic saddle bags. Hold your phone and stuff. Um some extra stirrups. These are the original stirrups to this saddle. And then I've got my German Martingale, which I bought for training purposes. If I ever need to train a horse to carry their head a little lower. And purple bell boots for barrel racing if I need them, you know. Got my orange polos in here. So there's those. And then I've got what? An extra cinch and here's the extra latigo over here which those can probably go in my trailer and then I've got these really shitty bell boots that I'm probably just gonna like burn or get rid of um got an extra curry comb down in there 
So now out here, I have this jumbled mess, which is going to be a driving harness for a pony. It's clearly, you know, a disaster right now. I just bought this. Well, I didn't buy it. Somebody gave it to me, but I'm going to completely clean that up, heavily oil it to wash it and all that stuff because I'm going to use that on my pony Chloe to teach her to drive and that sort of thing. So I'm going to go over and show you what's in my trailer now. Um, I also have a couple of these pans for, you know, the horses when we give them grain or oats. So here is the inside of my tack area and I've got some extra reins, extra lead rope. I have this little bucket of grooming stuff, which I keep in here all the time. That way I just always have it. Um, I have this little thing of oats that I keep in here all the time. So I don't have to constantly pack oats every time I use my trailer, extra halter and lead rope and an extra feed bucket over there. So we're in the back of my car now. My car door, the trunk won't open because my car is old and a piece of junk. But we got an extra bottle of fly spray. I got a horsey blanket, reusable bag. I've got an extra hay net, some extra reins, um, green latigo and cinch here that I have not used, and a training halter here in case I need one, rope halter. And then got a pony pad here. I don't know. I just don't need it at the barn. I've got some boots in there. And I think that's all the horse stuff I have in my car. So I'll take you inside now. I have some stuff inside as well. I have another Tony. All right. So in my messy room, I've got an extra saddle pad laying here for whatever reason. My English saddle pad and my English saddle and girth, which I obviously don't use right now. I just have this in case I ever get a horse that I might be able to ride English or a project horse that I might be able to train English. I just have this saddle. And then, I know, back here in my closet, it's pretty weird. I've just got extra tack hanging up, leather lead, extra girth. Got some stuff up here. Got an extra nylon halter that's never been used. I have a lunging cabasson. I've got this old leather breast collar that's actually missing straps, so I don't use it. Okay, I have this bag of tack that I have not used either. Okay, really? Come on. So in here, I've just got random stuff. I literally never need to buy this, but I have it now, so I've got an extra roll bolter. Two white cotton lead ropes. Um, let's see. Oh, I got navy blue polos. What else? Head stall. Um, a fly mask. And I'm pretty sure that fly mask is cut up. And I use that in case a horse has like an open wound that the flies are really bothering and I need to cover it, but it still needs to heal so it can breathe. So that's what I have in here. Literally, I just have all this stuff that I do not need. So that's why that's why I never buy new stuff because I have all of this stuff in here that I haven't used that's brand new still. All right, so now I'm at Otis's barn, which if you guys don't know is where I keep this little young one. Well, she's not young, but um, she's my project pony and I have some of her tack here, so I will show you guys that. So down here, I have this little thing that I keep extra stuff in which I've got brushes, curry comb, another brush. I got her purple halter. Um, she's got a black one as well here, a black one. Um, her bridle, which I haven't gotten reins for yet. I think I'm just gonna take some from home. Looks like this, it's got a little hackamore on it. Oh, what else is in here? A brush in case I need one little sweat scraper thing and a rope that rope actually came with the halter that she uses I'm just try and put that back in there which is this one a little rope halter and then her lead rope and this is the saddle I'm using on her right now it's actually a full-size saddle but it does work on her um, actually I think it works better than the other one I was using on her this is not mine this is somebody else's but 
this is the pad I'm using. This is just like my training pad that I just use for training. And then this saddle. So I'll just take it off and show you. It's a 14 inch, just your basic Western saddle. This girth is not mine. I'm borrowing it from somebody, but okay. We're just gonna leave that there. The last thing I have here is her cart, which is over here. I just bought this and I told you guys I'd show you it. So this is her cart. It's just a plain red little, cute little cart that I'll hopefully have her hooked up in soon. Um, but yeah, I've just been keeping it over here. Could you guys not do that? That would be great. All right, guys. So that is pretty much everything that I own tack wise supply wise um yeah I, I don't think i'm missing anything i showed you guys pretty much everything that i own so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see any other videos and thank you so much for watching make sure to check out the description for links below and i will see you guys in my next video bye